as we conclude, there's one issue that perhaps is going to be troubling to the politics of the South going ahead, delimitation. Uh, many believe that this could set off another North-South conflict in a way. By 2026 or a little later, if delimitation comes, the number of seats of the Northern Hindi heartland states could rise based on population and the southern states could be penalized for their lower population growth rates. This plus the fact that you have better economic indices could lead to resentment and an alienation. How do you believe delimitation should go ahead, Manikam Tagore, or should everyone sit across a table and build a consensus before delimitation is decided upon? This could be the big hot potato going ahead. 20, 2024 elections will decide that thing because the after the new parliament building, this delimitation has come into picture and we can't trust Modi and Amit Shah. They can do whatever they want and they, can, they wanted to uh, reduce the voice of South India means they will use whatever means in the name of delimitation itself. It is a very dangerous pattern where the performing states are going to be punished and in the name of reservation on women's reservation, they will club with that. Uh, debate and they will start, RSS will, WhatsApp universities will start that. When we are speaking against delimitation, they will say we are against women. This is going to happen and all the southern uh, state uh, chief ministers and member of parliaments has to rise it and we will rise it. As you will oppose it. We will oppose it because we need this government, particularly when Amisha is there. They can do whatever they want. And what? they had done it in the earlier uh, amendments also to the parliament. Parliament has become just a rubber stamp uh, institution. Every rules has been broken and there is no system in place and parliament has just become only the place where Mr. Modi can speak his man ki baat. Will you also oppose it, BRS? Yes, uh, delimitation is a big concern for most of South India and particularly Telangana. Reason, one is performing states are being penalized and population control has been part of performance and if you reduce population you're going to lose seats so the question of how do you delimit will be the critical issue and like you said we feel that a consensus should arrive how do you arrive at a consensus what would be the parameters what let me give a minute for example now population is a criteria why not add geographical area to that's one area second is there is a lot of floating in the country there 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 are lakhs and lakhs of people from, say, Orissa, Bihar, working, living in Telangana. But only when it comes to vote, they go there. So their census says they are voters, there is a population there. So with these floating uh, population, one, geographical area, number two, since you are performing, you are uh, being penalized, these are definitely issues which will be part of the campaign in 2024. It will be part of the 2024 campaign it in a way. Be. Anna Malai, where do you stand on delimitation? I don't know, sir, why my friends are in a very panicky mode. Delimitation has to happen because one MP cannot manage 16 lakh, 22 lakh kind of population. Of course, population is not going to be the only criterion for delimitation. Everybody knows. That is why from 1971, we have stopped it. 100% we are sure. And VJP comes back to power in 2024. In an accommodative spirit, delimitation happened. Just to add one more point. Inside Tamil Nadu, we have about four distinct geographical areas. We are talking about the state. Let us talk about inside the state. I belong to the Congo region, inside Tamil Nadu. They are like, no, when delimitation happens, we will be in trouble because our population is much less. The other parts of Tamil Nadu will get more seats. So not only at the national level, not only at the state level, even at the sub-regional level, it has to be a carefully done exercise, which BJP will 100% do. Interesting point. John Bitters. No, I am not against delimitation. Delimitation can happen. But if you increase the number of seats according to the population, that is going to be a serious issue for the country, unity of the country. Anna Malai, what makes South politics special, Very distinctive? Dynasty, family, absolute corruption. <laughs> Since you spoke about dynasty, family, absolute corruption, you want to tell us where did you get those audio tapes that allegedly exposed the Tamil Nadu finance minister, uh, PTR? I should not tell you my secret, sir. I just hold it to myself. When normally when corruption rises, the information starts coming out from the inside of that system only, sir. 